Joining us now is Curtin University Dean of Global Future, Joe Syracuse. Joe, uh, Donald Trump rallies are always entertaining, but I wanted to ask you, how significant is the decision of the Washington Post and Los Angeles Times not to endorse either presidential candidate this time around? Good morning, Kenny. Look, this is um, really one of the great news stories the last, the last week or so. The decision of um, the Washington Post and the... Uh, Los Angeles Times, both owned by billionaires, of course, Jeff Bezos and Patrick Soon. Um, and, you know, Bezos is uh, all over Amazon. He owns the thing. And, and of course, Patrick Soon is a medical doctor in charge of all kinds of profitable organizations who wants a seat. Uh, the decision is in the face of the, the editorial boards, in the, in the face of the staff, which is generally liberal. And what they're saying is, they're not saying that they're impartial. What they're saying is there's a vote of no confidence for Kamala Harris. In short, uh, the Washington Post, the owner, and the uh, Los Angeles Times owner says that don't put your money on Kamala Harris. And, of course, we've got uh, Elon Musk who's putting his millions of dollars behind Trump and Marion Adelson who donated $95 million. I mean, these elections tend to be billionaire-dominated anyway. But the decision of these two liberal bastions to walk away from uh, uh, Kamala Harris should tell you uh, who's going to win this election. Yeah, a U.S. news publication is reporting Kamala Harris is ghosting Joe Biden on the campaign trail as she tries to distance herself from the Biden administration. What do you make of that strategy? Look, she she can't do it. She's uh, she's tied to uh, Biden's uh, economics. She, she's tied to the economy, uh, uh, immigration, the wars in Ukraine and in Gaza. Uh, she's tied at the hip. She can't, she can't distance herself. And, you know, I, I want to say this, too, uh, Kenny. We haven't talked much about the conclusion. This is my 14th president, Joe Biden. So I've got to see a lot of these things as a presidential scholar and as a, a citizen of the United States and Australia, too, I might add. Uh, and that is, this is the dirtiest campaign I've ever seen. And in fact, it is in modern times. The uh, Biden people weaponized the, the justice system to go after Donald Trump. And then the Democratic leadership uh, denied uh, Joe Biden his rightful place uh, to be reelected uh, as president of the United States. They denied him his place at the yeah. nominating convention. So, you know, uh, in, in many ways, this has not been a very clean deal, and it's has been as ugly as it seems. Now, look, it's not life and death. It's not about the end of civilization. There have been a lot of serious uh, elections in my lifetime. Okay. You know, John Kennedy in 1960 and the rest of it. But uh, there's a lot of things going on here that we're not going to forget.